Thousands of people come to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, mostly to watch hockey. But on Saturday nights, a new sport enters the rink. Ice is covered by turf, skates are replaced with sneakers, and hockey sticks become lacrosse sticks. Right here in rink one is where the Boston Rockhoppers held their home opener. It was awesome. The environment was crazy. I think we sold over a thousand tickets, so it was definitely cool coming out with our home fans cheering and stuff. Definitely an awesome environment. I think we knew coming in how many people were going to be here. I was surprised by the noise, however. When you get in here, it's just like, it's crazy, so it was really cool. 1,500 fans attended the professional lacrosse game. Families with children of all ages came to cheer on the Boston Rockhoppers as they faced the Baltimore Bombers. Whether spectators were new to the sport or lacrosse players themselves, everyone was enthusiastic for the game. I feel pretty good to be here. Um, I like lacrosse, obviously. Well, I'm wearing this and yeah, it's my first time to being to a box lacrosse game. It's so fun. I want to be like a professional when I get older, so maybe I'll try to be, be like one of these guys too. The Rockhoppers have made the Sports Center their home. Saturday night games not only attract local Marlboro residents, but they also bring many new faces to town. We're from Syracuse, New York, and our son is playing on the team. So we follow him wherever he goes, we go too. I always have to apologize to everybody sitting around me because they know, they'll know me when the game's over with, trust me. <laughs> it was an intense close game with less than three minutes remaining and the Rockhoppers down by one. Faceoff man Tim Fallon scores the game tying goal, forcing overtime. But it's Baltimore's two man advantage in OT that gives them the win. Boston falls short 17 to 16. Obviously we would have liked a better outcome, but it was fun. The fans were getting into it and we had a great showing for the first first home game. So I mean, other than the loss, couldn't really can't complain too much. You know, it stinks losing, but it happens, part of the game. And the the fans were into it, it kinda of got us a bit more excited and uh, it makes it feel a bit worse that we lost and didn't kinda of give them what they came for, but at least it was a good game and uh, they had they had a decent show, so they definitely got their the money's worth tonight. We're doing well. We've only had a few practices, I would say, three as a team together. So it's pretty tough, you know, coming out here and playing prepared and stuff. But we're, we're starting to click, which is good. I think going out after the games, too, definitely helps with the team bonding and stuff. So we're on our way. We have a few beers. We hang out with each other, um, have a few laughs. Some other things I can't say on camera, but stuff of that nature. If you didn't get a chance to attend the home opener, there's still plenty of professional lacrosse to watch. Check out the team's website at bostonrockhoppers.com to find out when they'll be returning to the Sports Center. For WMCT, I'm Alexandra Grace.